Hey, what's up you guys? It's your dad. So I feel like I finally realized that I can like put whatever I want on this channel. I feel like I would not talk about stuff just because like it was personal. But the thing I realized is I would tell like a few close friends like these stories that I'm about to tell you. And then those close friends would tell everybody else and everyone else would tell everyone else. And then everyone already knew anyways. So like what's the difference if I put it on YouTube or if I tell one person? Because either way everyone's gonna know. But no, um, seriously I just realized like this is my channel. I could literally like diary or talk about whatever I want to talk about and... I just figured why not talk about this because it happened and I feel like I could help people with what I'm about to say. And I want to make it like less about like the story and more about like getting over it and like what I should have done and just hopefully you guys learn from my story. I don't really want to make it about the story, I just want to talk about like the aftermath. <laughs> so yeah, basically like as you can see from the title, my best friend had sex with somebody that I was dating. So I was dating this kid for basically like one month. I don't know, like at the end we kind of like had some disagreement. We like kind of like took a little break and literally the day we decided to take a break, it happened. <laughs> My friend had sex with him. And I found out because he ended up telling me, I decided that I was still gonna like try to talk to him but um, I don't know, it didn't end up working out. The whole thing just like fucked with my head and it was like stressful and um, I don't know, I think like the thing that I wanted to talk about was after it all happened. Literally there was just, everything was games and all I did was overthink and I feel like when something like that happens, you just need to like in your head decide I'm done with this person or I'm gonna give them another chance. But like if you're gonna give them another chance you can't just like play games like what we were doing because basically we'd hang out, I'd be like testing him to see like if, like, if he would say like the right things I wanted him to say and like you know, everything would be like all better. And then like, I was trying to figure out like why he did it. And I was making up excuses for him in my head while he was doing it. And I was just trying to like, just make everything like it never happened, but it happened. Like accept it or don't accept it. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm stupid. I just like really liked the kid. I don't know, after like it ended up not working out and I, we like finally like ended it. All I did was like overthink everything. My friend went somewhere and like didn't invite me. I automatically thought I was going to my ex's house and like hooking up with him. And I was like always stressed out and always worrying about like what people were doing, like what was happening around me and stuff. But then like I realized you can't overthink and like stress out about it and stuff because if you do, you're literally just worrying about like something that doesn't even matter. Cause like what if they were like still hooking up behind my back without telling me? I don't, it doesn't affect me. I am still like living my life and like doing what I need to do to be happy. And if they're doing that behind my back, like, Fine, just like let it happen. I don't want to know. I don't know. Just like don't stress out about it and don't worry about it because worrying about stuff like that like doesn't help you in any way. When you're like thinking about like them and what they're doing and worrying about other stuff that's not you, you're like taking away from like your own happiness and your own success. What you should be doing is being engulfed in your own happiness and your own success and forgetting about everything bad that even happened. Like that was my problem for like a really long time. I let all that stuff that happened affect me and I let like it affect my YouTube channel, my like everything I did like I stopped making videos and I stopped like being happy and I just literally just went into like a little state of depression which you shouldn't do you can be sad about it but don't like dwell on it you just gotta let it go because the more you focus on it and the more you're worried about it the more it consumes you and you literally can't do anything except for worry and worrying does nothing it literally does nothing at all but yeah I don't know then I finally decided that I need to like get my shit together and I focused on me and making myself happy and I finally got back to where I was and everything's good now. But yeah, I don't know, I was just thinking of videos to post and this was like something I figured I could help people with. Like, I don't know, I feel like I didn't really go that much into detail but I just wanted to keep like the people and the situation and everything kind of like more private but I did want to talk about it and I hope it helped you guys. If it did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. But I hope this somehow helped you guys. I feel like it helped me talking about it. I'm finally like opening up and talking about things on my channel and I never thought I would get to this point which is really cool so um... I don't know, it's really exciting. And I hope I helped you guys, and if anybody else went through a similar situation, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. I probably, that actually sucks, like, it shouldn't have happened, but I'm sorry that it happened, and it's gonna be okay, I promise. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story thing. I hope it helped you. I hope it helped you. I know I said that like 50 times, but like seriously, I hope my videos help people. That's like all I want to do is make people smile and happy. So I hope it helped. I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. Stay awesome. Subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.